we start to see some gold. These are earrings and rings from the 6th century before Christ of Greek influence. The next thing that I saw in the museum was that mind-blowing collection of Greek coins from a hoard found near Taranto. I found myself admiring these coins for more than 20 minutes. The pristine conditions of these coins are really remarkable. After taking all the necessary time to admire these coins and drooling a few droplets of saliva on the screen, I moved on. The vases behind me are beautiful. Wow, 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 I see some gold here, some serious gold. And then I arrived to the main vase hall. What once seemed boring and weird in a primary school book, now as an adult looked beautiful in a museum. And then, I arrived to the gold! Here I am again in the Greek section and there is this beautiful funerary bronze urn. It's really impressive, but what I'm interested in a, a little bit more is this wedding band. It looks like exactly a modern one, except from the fact that inside it is slightly hollow and the edge is a bit uneven. Really cool. I hope to find one of these so I can give it to a museum. This room is actually filled with gold and treasures. All the most valuable items from this museum are here. Here, here you can see many examples of earrings, artifacts made in gold. In the center of the room you have this display for the best pieces of the museum, which is this head of a statue of a woman that would have probably worn these items. And how shiny! It's crazy to think that they are more than 2,000 years old and they still look like if they were made yesterday. Now these would be cool metal detecting finds too, but they have to end up in a museum. These are some armors of the soldiers of the time. And here you can see this armor. It's a body shape and the helmet has some 
horns, probably there were some feathers in it or some kind of uh, ornament. But look at it by the side. <laughs> this was a fat soldier, he liked eating. <laughs> they made the armor go out for his belly. But they still have uh, rock solid uh, man boobs, probably. <laughs> yeah, floppy, floppy soldier. But important man, probably. Cool. He also had the boots. Oh, look what we have here. More coins. Wow. Silver coins. Look how small those ones are. This line on the floor, but more significantly what's in the displays, um, marks the start of the Roman times. Here is the pre-Roman Greek and local tribes artifacts that we have seen until now. And from now on we will see the Roman technological advance and uh, advance in arts and also all the vessels, sculptures here are more defined and there are the typical Roman bustos and sculptures. It seems to be in a more grander phase of history. In this room there are all mosaics taken from Roman uh, villas. Every one of these niche has a history to tell and is really impressive and fun to learn all this stuff. What's this? 2.1? Yes. Polychrome terracotta, italic face theater mask, likely producing a model of a real mask that's on the stage performance and producing cloth and other perishable material. So this is a so basically this is a, a prototype of a theater costume. Wow, impressive. I wonder what the show was about. <laughs> shaped uh, gold crowns and that's why there are so many because they used to put it on the head of the dead people deceased people these are all grave finds so I hope to never do one of these finds because I really don't want to find a grave <laughs> This one is so funny. 
It's probably the wife of this one or the sister. <laughs> nice couple. I just finished visiting the museum. I'm, my head is spinning from all the gold I have seen and the beauty that there is there. So next to the statue of this very wise looking dude, I can state that there is still for sure some of these things to be found in the sea. So I am going out of here and looking for more treasures.